Good morning, respected dignitaries present here. Today, we, a group of eight, Ambasha, Samar Sheshadri, Roshu, Kevin Jai Kumar, Guru Datta, Sharikye Puri, Arshid Vyasas Dev, Anu Pradyumna, and Sai Kashyap proudly present to you our work, the first prize winner of the NASA AIM Space Settlement Contest 2018 project, Astrum. The aims of Astrum are Utilize the vast resources of the outer solar system and the asteroid belt Serve as a functioning, viable and sustainable home for humankind Serve as a base for human activities in the outer solar system and beyond Location of Astrum Location plays an important role in determining the feasibility of a project and its various features. For Astrum, we have decided a two-phased approach. During its construction, Astrum will be located in the Mars Erosiclus orbit. This orbit is between the orbits of Phoebos and Deimos, the moons of Mars. This location was selected for its construction in order to use the Martian resources as well as the asteroid belt for the construction materials of Astrum. After a few years, Astrum will transfer itself to the orbit of Titan through a Hohmann transfer orbit. This location was also selected due to the vast amount of resources such as helium-3, hydrocarbons and other precious metals present in the Saturn system. The Saturn system will be Astrum's final location. Planetary Basis and Planet-Based Operations of Project Astrum Astrum has basis of operations and infrastructure in some of the moons of Saturn and Saturn itself. Titan Base is the largest of all planetary bases in Saturn system and is the only one with human presence in it. It will be located on one of the cryo volcanoes of Titan. This base would be used to extract the vast hydrocarbons and vast resources present in the Titan Base. Peters Base Higher Peters is another moon of Saturn. This moon has a vast resource of metal. Its special structure makes it easy for spacecrafts to land here. The entire operation here would be related to metal extraction. Here, all personnel would be automated and there will be no human presence. Saturn There would be no permanent infrastructure or operation in Saturn itself. The atmosphere of Saturn contains a vast amount of helium-3, a fusion reactor fuel. This fuel would be extracted from the atmosphere of Saturn by regularly sending specialized vehicles to collect helium-3 and then return to the settlement. Transportation The external transportation systems here would be based on fusion-based propulsion, fueled by a mixture of helium-3 and deuterium. The internal public transportation system would use vehicles attached to electrical skates on elevated platforms, ESEP. Along with this, electrical-based vehicles would be available for private use by citizens. Communication Due to the vast distance of Saturn from Earth, radio communication would be impossible. Instead, laser-based communication would be used, where laser waves would carry messages. A laser communication grid would also be developed. Life support To maintain a proper environment for human life to settle down and grow in, it is necessary to recreate Earth-like conditions. The various needs of human is air, food, ground techniques such as hydrophonics, aerophonics, aquaphonics, and soil culture. Oxygen from algae planted all over the settlement. Artificial gravity through rotation. And water is extracted from the moons of Saturn. All facilities and features have been provided in order to make for a sustained growth of human life. Given the limited nature of these resources, all materials substances would be constantly recycled and reused. A wide variety of waste, disposal, recycle, reuse techniques have been employed all over the city. Electricity. The power requirements of Astrum would be satisfied through fusion reactors. These fusion reactors would be based on a combined design of magnetic confinement and pulse steering procedures with direct energy conversion. The fuel used in these fusion reactors would be a mixture of helium-3 and deuterium sourced from Saturn. The total cost involved in construction maintenance of Project Astrum is $346,642,538,187 point six nine American dollars. 
Making the impossible possible has been the secret of human survival. Project Astrum was a milestone in human history, becoming a catalyst for humankind to evolve into an advanced space-faring species. Now humanity, spread across the solar system, could use resources as diverse as helium-3 from Saturn and diamonds from Uranus. There was no stopping humankind now. Pain, depression, war, all felt like a far nightmare. The reason why these settlements need to exist, what it means to us and how it will affect our lives. Once this movement is built, space settlements as a new home for humans may become viable and soon a reality. It is with the hope that a small idea can change the world that we humbly conclude our project. Thank you.